Hello and welcome to You've Seen It Before, Movie Reviews Connection in Mind. This video is a little different, I've never done one of these before, but I just bought a new board game, or party game, uh, Blockbuster, the party game for anyone who's ever seen a movie. And I had it, I, I tried this out with a couple of my friends a couple days ago, and it worked, and it was seemed to be a lot of fun, my friends really enjoyed it, and I thought I'd give my thoughts on it. Um, I never done, again, I've never done one of these product reviews before, so... I just figured I'd give you my thoughts on it and just a candid little review of how how I how it works and I mean going forward this is a solid recommendation but if you've seen the reviews on uh, any of the websites seen the ads anywhere and you're not sure how to buy it yeah I'd recommend it but uh, first look here we go so the blockbuster game you get uh, it looks like a standard uh, rental VHS case obviously large enough to fit the contents of the game. Uh, opening it up, we have the Blockbuster uh, VHS looking game board here. If we open it up, uh, it looks like a parking lot. And that's because, uh, along with the rule book here, it comes with a little stand here that you slot uh, right in there. And to complete the parking lot illusion, you have your parking lot pole and you have your sign. Uh, though when buying this, it turns out that you have to put on the stickers for the Blockbuster logo yourself. And you need to pay attention that you're putting it on the right direction, I which I did not. And since there's a little hole in there to do it, I didn't realize I was putting them on upside down. So I had to fix that with uh, gluing that little piece of dowel on there to to stick in there. So, it, it'll, I mean, it's not perfect, but it works, you know. So, there's that. That's your game board. We're going to take that off right now because that's more of an aesthetic choice than anything. Um, also, you have your little uh, timer element, which is the timer element is critical to the game. Uh, and then you have two sets of cards. You have your head-to-head -head deck. And your, you have two different sets of movie cards here. How this works is um, you have your head, to, you do the first, it's divide, you divide into two teams. Uh, it's up to, you need at least four players to play. But the nice thing about this game is there's no maximum number of players. So you can get everyone involved in it. That's a really nice thing I personally enjoy because I hate being that guy at a, in a game night where you, ha you, get, you, have a, you have an awesome game, but it's capped at like five or six players. And if you have more than that one to play the same game, sorry, you have to do something else. That's kind of, I don't feel, I don't like being that guy to exclude people like that. So this is a fun way of doing that. And how it works is, you, again, you divide into two teams. Uh, you kind of do it family feud style where uh, head the head to head round of the round one starts off with one person from each team uh, gets the head to head going and let's say uh, each one of these head to head cards has a type of uh, a type of movie uh, for instance if I pull off the first card here. Uh, if you agree that, it says movies with a dog. Now, how the head-to-head uh, -head game wor uh, part works is if you have your timer, I turn the timer on, and the timer, you turn over the category, which is movies with a dog. Uh, one per the Whoever s thinks of the first one to go, uh, let's say Marla and me, you hit the timer, it's, tar it's a 15-second timer, and the next person says something like, uh, I don't know, I am legend. And then uh, Lassie and uh, Homeward Bound and so on and so on until someone's getting stuck. They have 15 seconds to think about it. They're thinking, uh, thinking to themselves, oh man, what are we going to do? Here we go. It's ticking down. It brings up the pressure and people are egging on, but you know, they can't really give hints. And there you go. You got your time off. So whoever wins the head to head round on that front um, then gets to pick for the second part of the game, which is where the movie cards come into play. Uh, the, how the movie, how the second part works is whoever wins the movie round, uh, whoever did, whoever that one representative was for your, the head to head part, you are now the representative trying to, uh, do this act for your entire, the rest of your team. How this works is you draw six of these movie cards. Uh, and then 
you were trying to choose the three of uh, movies on here and then pick the three easiest. Each one of these cards has a movie on it. See, the six I picked are, let's see here, Lassie. We have Citizen Kane, uh, King Kong, Toy Story, an American Werewolf in London, and a Clockwork Orange. So these are, I believe they're 200 movie cards in all, and I think they believe, uh, so far that I've seen, they've chosen movies that are pretty well known. So at least one person in, uh, in the room will probably know uh, most of the, uh, the, at least some of these. So you've got a finding chance on that front. So you pick, you pick six of these cards, you pick the three easiest ones here, and then you give the, you keep those for yourself, and then you give the other three to the other team. So presumably you give the harder ones to your opponents. Um, there's that advantage in the head-to-head -head part uh, that that gives you. And then once you pick your three cards, I'm going to go with, let's see here. Let's go with Lassie, King Kong, and Toy Story. Why not? So let's do that. And then... We have your game board here. I'll open it up really quick. Hopefully you can see that. So if you look on your game board here, you have um, th uh, each side has three separate squares. I'm going to you arrange your squares like this. And there are the three different categories here. This says one word, this says quote it, and this says act it. Uh, and it's pretty much exactly how it, uh, how it sounds. One word means you have uh, you have to give your team uh, the rest of your team one word and they have to guess the movie they have to try to guess the movie based on that one word. For instance, I put Toy Story on one word and I would say something like I don't know, buzz and they would maybe uh, try to or maybe or maybe just lightyear or something and then they would go with that. Uh, and then if they guess it correctly, then you flip it up and then that's your point that then you get to keep that card Hard for the rest of the round. Uh, quote it again, just like it sounds. You have to say a quote from the movie, uh, and they have to guess what it is. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a quotable line from the movie. It could be something like, uh, "See, here, I put King Kong on there," so it's like, "Oh no, a giant ape," or something like that. You know, it just can't, it just can't say the words of the title in the movie. So if I say guess King Kong, you get that. And then finally, act it, uh, act it again, just like it sounds. You use charades to try to have your team figure out what the uh, the movie is. So this one, Lassie. I would have to act like a dog or something. I don't know. And then if they get it, that's theirs. Um, so then you have 30 seconds as a team to try and get all three of these. Now, if you get all three of these and you still have time to spare in that 30 seconds, then you have the opportunity to try and steal one of your, uh, guess one of your opponent's cards because they lay them down face down too. And if you get them, then you can steal one of their points as well. So there's a... Uh, reward for speed there as well. Uh, there are eight genres uh, cards of these, like Toy Story's animation, King Kong is sci-fi and fantasy, Lassie is family. Again, there are eight different genres, and the goal of the game is to get all eight genre card, uh, uh, types of genre in your to your team, and then you win. So once you do all this round, um, once you count uh, count up your, your winnings or whatever, then you go back to the head-to-head -head and it goes and so on and so forth until someone gets those eight cards. So it's a really simple gameplay and that's probably the best part of it. And the tagline of this game is a movie game for anyone who has ever seen the movie. And that's really the best part of this, I think. If, you li if you're like me, you like movies, you see a lot of them, but... A lot of movies uh, are in the public consciousness, and we don't necessarily see them. Like, um, for instance, I have never seen a Lassie movie, ever. But I know what Lassie is. I can say something like, oh no, little Timmy fell down the well. Even though I know that the, the, uh, little Timmy actually never did fall down the well. Fun fact. But that's the beauty of this game. That movies are so ingrained in our consciousness that anyone can play this game. And... I mean, the game suggested, I believe it's what, 12 and up for age range. So assuming you're one with, with your uh, adult friends or maybe some with like teenage, uh, teenage kids and you can all play this game and it's really enjoyable. It's really fun. My friends, I played this with, with uh, five other of my friends and we had a blast doing this. All right, wait, no, not five, seven. Yes, because there were eight of us total. <laughs> fun. The, memory block there uh so that it's a really fun game the one little nitpick i had with this is this little timer it's a great little timer um maybe uh when i bought this um 
I went straight from buying it at Target to my friend's house and um, I thought it would just be a simple matter of just pulling up the bed, putting in the new batteries and running with it. However, I can't know, I don't know if you can tell, but um, this, this little battery case, I thought it was just like one of those like pull out tabs, but it actually has a little screw on it. And if you don't, if your friend does not have a little mini screwdriver or two AAA batteries around, then that's a, you don't get the timer for that. And I mean, the regular 30 second timer is a 30 second timer. You can do that on their phone. But the tricky part is the head to head part where every time you hit the buzzer, uh, it resets the clock for 15 seconds. And I, I was trying, we were trying to do that with our phones. Like the, I was thought maybe the lap timer might accomplish that, but we couldn't really replicate the kind of time that we were going with. So we kind of had to improvise around that part of the game. But that's just my little nitpick of the product. Other than that, um, it's a really good uh, game. Oh, and also a little nitpick, how hard would it have been to just print this little piece of plastic with the sticker on it? I mean, really? I know I could have just looked and seen that, but come on. <laughs> so, other than that, yes, like I said, it's a little, small little nitpicks. This is such, whoa, sorry. <laughs> this is such a great, uh, fun game. And for anyone who likes movies, anyone who's seen movies, like it says, this is worth it. And I definitely recommend you check this out. Um, I bought this for 20 bucks at Target. Um, I believe it's, I looked on their website. I think maybe the price may have dropped to 15 on their website and maybe Amazon has it for that price as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, definitely go check this out and yeah, good job. I believe this is big potato games. I think the guy who made this, the company that made this. So good job on you and yeah, go check this out. And thank you so much for watching my first ever product review, a board game review. Um, I appreciate whatever audience I can get. Thank you for bearing with me this far. And if you like this video or any other video on my channel, I do movie reviews, I do TV reviews, I do certain uh, analysis videos. Uh, please give me a like, share, and especially a subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. Again, thank you so much for watching. But just remember, there is nothing new under the sun. And yes, you have seen it before.